Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about load pull data and how in version 12 of our software, due out soon, we su support swept load pull data files. Historically, we've supported single sweep point data files, uh, but in version 12 we support uh, swept variable. And I'd like to show you some of the functionality that's built in that allows PA designers in particular uh, to manipulate the data, work with the data seamlessly, and get their designs done fast. So just to show the types of data we now support, if I pull down this menu, we support CST, MDIF, and SPL files as some of the swap load pull data formats. In this demo project, we've already imported an SPL file. You can see here we have a rectangular graph of input power. So the swap variable in file is input power, and we're plotting some resulting uh, output power and PAE contours on the Smith chart. If I choose the marker here and move the marker around, we can see the contours on the Smith chart changing. That shows the marker interoperability we have uh, to select the input power level and plot the resulting contours. So conversely, instead of selecting input power, we can select the specific impedance point or gamma point in the load pull data file and plot swept measurements, such as gain compression, PAE, and output power versus input power. So if I select the marker on the Smith chart and move it to different gamma points, we can see the dark blue traces moving around which correspond to that impedance point and give us the swept data. Now also, we can notice the circle around here. This is the uh, Viswar measurement for that particular impedance point. And I can pull up the tuner and change the Viswar uh, from 1 on up to 10, and we see the uh, visoire at that impedance point changing. Finally, we can define a specific output match in the software and plot the results from the load pull file using that output matching network. So here we have, again, our gamma points plotted from the load pull file, and we've got the impedance from the output matching circuit uh, plotted as well on the same, uh, same graph. And if we bring up the tuner, again, we can see that we have uh, the dimensions for the uh, output matching network set to be tunable. I'll tune those around. We can see the impedance changing on the Smith chart, and we can also see the interpolated results from the data file changing simultaneously. So that's a very quick, short overview of some of the new functionality in version 12 of our software, again, due out very soon. And we hope you'll take a look. Thank you.